Remember this video? What video is this? What video is this? <laughs> what video is this? <laughs> That's like a guy hammered at a bar. Oh, that upset me. Why'd you show me that? <laughs> you think I want to see a hard cock? <laughs> Dude, that's an upsetting video. That poor guy. Oh, fuck. Angus, why you, why'd you do that? Come on, it's such a funny video. No, that upset me. Real quick, before we get into today's episode, we have a word from one of our sponsors, True Classic Tees. The holidays are right around the corner. There is no better gift for anyone than True Classic Tees. Get it for your brother, get it for your sister, get it for your mom, your dad, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. Doesn't matter. These are the best fitting tees in the world, and you're going to look great in them. And it's a really affordable gift to get someone. What else, Angus? What's going on? It is affordable. They're doing 25% off. Go to trueclassic.com slash Friday. You get free shipping on orders over $100. Wow. Yeah, 25% off at trueclassic.com slash Friday. And hey, you know what? Santa won't be the only one slaying thanks to True Classic. <laughs> now that, yeah, that, All right. that is too much fun. Now let's get into the episode. <laughs> this fucking mic. Sucks. <laughs> What's up? Oh, okay. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to the Almost Friday podcast. With, you know, me, it's me, Liam, and, uh, you know, Will. Will Angus. Uh, hey, God, we're here. We, we, for our listeners last week, are you surprised? We made it. We're still here. We we're doing a lot of talk. It didn't go according to plan. Yeah. But we live another day. Hmm. God, you know what's really annoying is the lights around this office right now. Didn't realize how distracting that was going to be. <laughs> what? The the fucking... Oh, there's blinking lights. Oh, fuck. It's crazy. Do you, we should go rip those down. I think I probably will at some point. Like pulling off a piece of tape. Just... Oh, that would feel good, too. Yank it down like a chainsaw. Yeah. So, um, I, I have a question. Yeah. Emily, th- let me know if you know what I'm saying, Liam. What is like our like? Who, what are what are you to us? Who are you? You know, you sort of just colonized my life. Like I had this whole, you weren't in my life. I didn't ask you to be in my life. I'm not mad about it, but you just kind of yeah are now a part of it. You, and it's almost like um, my parents gave birth to me, and I didn't ask them to, and I'm I'm happy they did. Sometimes, sometimes, and. You're here, and I didn't want you to be here, or I didn't ask for you to be here, but now you're here, and you're like a big part of my life. And again, not a negative oh, thing. Oh, that's the nicest thing someone's ever said to me. That's not true. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah. What, are, what yeah, are you? What well, are it's you? actually interesting, because when I spoke to Edge about this job, <laughs> when I spoke to Edge about this job, I wasn't like supposed to be a podcast producer. But then I spoke about my, um, my skill set, and he was like, oh, we actually kind of need that. What were you supposed to be? I don't know, like maybe an editor, assistant editor. Oh. Maybe an editor. I really don't know. Do it you, kind of all happened weirdly. Are we friends? Would you consider me a friend? I, I was wondering this too. I mean, kind of in a sense. Okay. Would you hang, if I texted you and I was like, want to go grab a drink? Oh my God, I would be so me? happy. Really? Because if you texted me that, I'd, I'd figure, I'd think of 10 excuses and I'd run them by. Well, that's why I wouldn't ask you that. What about me? What if I text I you? I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I would be happy too, but I I wouldn't ask you that because I know you would be like, "Why the fuck is she texting me that?" Yeah. But I would be like ecstatic if you guys asked. I think you're one of my friends. Yeah, I consider you friend. We were That's friends so nice. right away when you got here. Do you remember when we went to um, Roosterfish for Liam's stand-up yeah, show? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And we were palling around day one. Yeah, we were. Oh my goodness. Yeah, mm. I didn't think that Catherine, your girlfriend, liked me at first. She doesn't. And then she followed me on Instagram, and I was like, "Okay, I think we're, I think we're in the in the clear." No, that's no. just to keep tabs on you. <laughs> she often talks about how off-putting you are as a human being. Yeah, she says you take up a lot of space. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think it I'm means just fat as fuck. No, not like phys- she, I think it means like mental. Like you take up a lot of head space. Well, I'm now taking a lot of, up a lot of space in this room. Yeah, that's a big ass desk, dude. You got well, a big desk. I well, it's so much better because now I can see your faces. Emily, I like having you in here. It's Thanks. nice. I can actually see your face now. I know the viewers can't though. Can you laugh at my well, jokes? I like it better that way. Yeah, <laughs> they don't um, want to see my face. Oh come on, Just it's kidding, all right. Perfect. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah, based off that, you know, I don't know if that if that broke any ground for us, but um. We asked you to prepare some things, you know, a couple things you don't like about Will and I, and 
Yeah, the, guys, this is this is this is a little segment we call it Friendly Fire. Oh, it's I a like corny that. name, but it works. You know what? I I think we we yeah we don't even need to give it a name. Well, I just did. I know, and it it <laughs> it hurt me to hear that. It sucked. I God, fucking I actually like fucking I'm really sucked. sad. I came up with something like feels so lame. <sighs> yeah. Fuck. All right. Um, Emily, you had a, you had some time to think about a couple things. You know, you, you're not that happy with about us, and some things that you know maybe you enjoy. Yes, uh, I did. Take it away. Oh, I'm first. Wow. Yeah, you're first. Yeah. Okay, I'll just say. Let's all start with the negatives. We'll go around and do the negatives. Okay, yeah, and then Obviously. we can bring it back with mm, the positives. Mm. I would just like to say, though, that I immediately off the bat could come up with like two good things about Will, and then I could immediately off the bat come up with two bad things about Liam. And it took me a really long time to think of like the rest. <laughs> Is that one of your bad things yeah, for Liam? Because that, that sounds like you just no, came up with no. a bad thing for Liam. That was uh, rude. <laughs> you don't... Okay, okay so okay. just here's, so you know... Here's that, no, Emily, just so you know, that was so mean. That should count as one of them. You're yeah. right. You're about but to But I, do... I, I brought even more than <sighs> two. All right, do, do both of mine so we can get it over. Okay, so your, your first one would be that sometimes you give off vibes that... I'm, I'm smart, and I'm really good at picking up on people's <laughs> vibes, but sometimes in general... You give off vibes like and where where I can't tell if you're you like me or not or like you're annoyed with me or not. And I feel like I feel like Will is better at balancing balancing the two. Like I can tell that Will like actually doesn't mind me, but like sometimes I'm like, oh fuck, like I don't know if Liam likes me. Right well, that's now. I've known Liam for a year and a half, and I feel that way. So. Yeah, well, yeah. So that's your that's your first. Negative. All right, I'll work on that. I do like you. That's not that negative of a thing. That sounds like. You wanted to talk about what makes you anxious, so you kind of fucked up the assignment. Well, that that okay. Well, that's mine. Negative. Okay, whatever. No, I appreciate it. Um, okay. So Bro. the other so, one. So over two. Other one is one? that you give me a hard time about thumbnail pictures and ad reads. Yeah, the two of the things I give zero fucks about in my entire life. I'm kidding. But those are things that aren't like. No, I'm just I'm I'm giving you a hard time. Like I could like roast your entire life, but like I just those things don't bother me. Like I'm gonna say things I dislike about you. Wait, you could roast my entire life? Like I could just make random shit up. No, like you I can't. don't like your fucking socks. Like I don't know. Oh, okay, I, I like, see what you. I mean. like your socks. But yeah. like these and are things that I mind. personally dislike about, or like not dislike, but like that bother me about you. I guess. Okay, that's good to know. I'll improve on those as best I can. Okay, Will. <laughs> One thing I hate about you. Um. That sometimes, or actually majority of the time, that your laugh sounds fake. So if I say something funny, I don't know if you're like actually laughing or if you're like laughing because you feel bad. <laughs> uh, that is accurate. Yeah. God. <laughs> criticizing someone's laugh is very mean. No, it's yeah. I'm not criticizing. It's just I can't tell if you're like really laughing or not sometimes. Because you have a very like, not fake laugh sounding laugh, but like it just doesn't sound like it's just like ha 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 ha. I'm. God, <laughs> that was mean, man. I'm sorry that the noise I accidentally make. Okay, when I'm well, happy. you guys are gonna. Hey, <laughs> you asked. You literally asked. All right. Okay. Um, and then the second thing is, when we're doing an ad read, and Will just goes way too deep into it and keeps going for like five minutes, and he knows I'm gonna cut it out anyway. So it's just like annoying. It's I just like to. Time. I like to sit at home at six thirty p.m. And I like to drink a Coors Light knowing that you're still at work editing out the ad read. Yeah. It does make me happy when it's like <laughs> 7.30 and she texts me like, where is this? And I'm like, I'll respond in an hour. Yeah. Okay, well, I want to hear. <laughs> yeah. That was going to be another one of my negative things, but I had too many for you. Fair enough. Um, And then, yeah, you guys have to say your negative things about me and each other. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, can I start? Yes. When you get stressed out. Me. It is contagious, mainly because I get stressed out easily. And it feels like two moons coming into each other's orbit and then rapidly colliding. <laughs> and that's your fault. And I just want you to know that. I'm so aware of that. I try to not do that. but I, I feel like there sometimes. are fire ants crawling around oh, I know. I'm on so the sorry. upper layer of my head I'm so sorry. Uh, sometimes when I speak to you. I'm so that was sorry. one of mine as well, is that you stress me out. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't think it needs... I, for. Uh, you know, Guys, things. I feel like this is like friendship couples therapy. This is great. It feels good. Yeah. But quit stressing me out, you know? Okay. Should I do Sorry. number two? Um, yeah, fire off number two. Sometimes you talk really fast in rapid succession, and I have bad hearing. 
And it's so overwhelming that I want to wave a wand and just have you fall asleep. And I <laughs> Sometimes I do talk really fast and I notice that I'm talking fast, but then I have to like get that thought out and I just keep going. So right now I want to shoot you with a sleep dart in the okay. back. Sorry. Just the way you were doing that right there. Okay. Yeah. Um, mine is, uh, this is my second one. Uh, I can tell that if we went to high school together that you would have been mean to me. <laughs> Are you? Do you actually think that? Yeah, I know that. Like, in what way? You would have been mean to me and rude to me. Do you mean, think, like, kind of like the way I tease people in this, like, mean, like, it's to just, Brandon and stuff? It's <laughs> it's a glaze in your eye that tells me that if you went to my high school in Massachusetts, you would have been like, mean would to I have thought that I was better than you? Yep, you would have known it and you would have acted on it. <laughs> I find that interesting because in any other scenario, yeah, I probably would have. But in high school, shockingly, like I for a while did not have friends and I would eat lunch in the bathroom. Or... <laughs> oh my god! Or I, or I, there was one Are day where serious? I, there was, I'm not lying. There was <laughs> oh, no. Oh. There was one day where I oh, sat you're... completely by myself at a lunch table. I was trying to make friends with these girls, and like they had that we had those lunch tables that were like circle chairs, so there was only a limited amount of chairs. Oh. Mm. And I got there and they were all taken and nobody offered to sit next with me like at another table. So I literally just like sat there and nobody like came and joined me. And I was like, I'm going to kill myself. And then, yes. What was wrong with you that you didn't, you, nobody wanted to fucking be around you? Um, I think, uh, honestly, I think you know I what know. It, you know what it is? Like, I figured it out over time, but we were like, it was in middle school. I had a group of friends and then I, I had just moved to my new, that new town in seventh grade. And there were things that like, not necessarily I did, but like, for example, I kind of like I got extra time on tests when I was in middle school. And like at that age, my friends didn't really understand it. And they would get pissed because like they would get a worse grade than me and think that like because I had extra time and got a better grade that that's why I got the better grade. But like in actuality, I actually am fucking slow. And they're, my equivalent to like extra time is like them regular time. And like at that age, you just don't understand that. You're learning disabled. Yes. <laughs> I have issues. We knew that. It was I like wish, things like that. I wish, and I feel like you forgot to put that on your resume. Yeah, I feel like that slipped through It's the actually press. Um, against the law or to um, discriminate against disabilities. So. What do you have? Just like ADHD well, and yeah. crippling anxiety. <laughs> Suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Get over it. Okay, well. But yeah, so I tried to like switch friend groups and at the beginning it was like a rough yeah yeah <laughs> let's stop before it starts yeah yeah, yeah. Well, wait, okay wait and now you guys have to say what you hate about each other oh, oh we, yes. we didn't prepare any yeah i think that was just that for was you. just for you oh yeah. really no of course oh. not we got we got some fun stuff <laughs> oh, that'd be so it. terrible that'd be funny <clears throat> liam when you tell me you are bad with technology i want to shoot you in the chest with a cannonball mm. when i ask you to print something and you go i don't think my computer can do that <laughs> i want to bury you in the mud okay when you tell me um that you can't download an application because there isn't space on your computer uh i want to pull my face off and i want to staple it to your face and i want to bleed out in front of you you got every right to got every right to oh so that is that's fair that's one let me fire off one um your mustache doesn't connect all the way, and it makes you seem like a French villain. <laughs> I, I don't grow hair right there. And it's, it's in. I do enjoy it about you, but sometimes I'm like, man, I wish that would connect. <laughs> oh, jeez. You I don't. Wish that would connect. You don't know how good I feel that I. I thought you were gonna come with something heinous. No, no, but, no. But I do, making fun of my physical appearance. I just want to take a, it's just one thing. Other than I'm, that, you're, I'm you're glad. Handsome. I'm glad. I'm glad that it's on. I'm glad I didn't shave last night so people could see. Take a little bit of Emily look at that. Emily punch in. And then I'm also I'm talking crazy shit because I can't even grow a, a mustache. So I'm not. Well, you can. You're just, just blonde. Yeah, it just it's doesn't look good. I look like I just got over cancer. Um, mm. um. Okay. Do you have another one? Want to bring me a coffee? Want to give me a ride? <laughs> I do want do want it want to spend two hours editing this video for me. <laughs> okay, that's Throw, fair. Just spr sprinkle in a please. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's, that's fair. That's that's a fair assessment. <laughs> I remember one time Liam was uh, really sick, and like I don't go to his house on the way to work, and he was like, "Want to bring me some medicine?" 
And I was like, I got to go to work. And he's like, well, you can take my bike once you get here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's like, that's crazy. Yes. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, that's true. I'm a, I'm a shitty friend in that way. No, you're not a shitty friend. It's hilarious because I know how gracious and thankful you are. So it's just so funny. I, I, it must be a Boston thing. It must be like an East Coast thing. I don't know. Maybe it's all because I'm never, realize. I'm never offended, but I'm, I'm doing something for you, and I'm going, no, never heard of please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I heard him say please. Yeah, I gotta mix in some more pleases and thanks. Um, okay. Um, you uh, are a fart terrorist, <laughs> I am, and you dude. attack me with your farts. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like it. Like he, he'll call me into like he'll be like, "Yo, come here," and we're like, he'll call me into a small room, and then he'll close the door, fart, and then just like play, like do pass fucking blocking, just doing his fucking pass set on me. And that's uh, a fucking sin. And yeah, you're a domestic terrorist with your <laughs> own farts, and they, dude, it's it's. I should be locked up. Yeah, it's. Do you do that <laughs> to your girlfriend? No, dude. We'll be doing a sketch. And we'll be in the middle of like improving a sketch, and he'll just ruin the whole thing by farting. And he won't oh. break character, but I'm like, I have to, I have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, have have you ever do you fart in front of Catherine? Yeah, right. Sometimes. Okay, but it, it's not like do you typically hold it in around her or not? I usually try to shit my pants. In front of her. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember the first time you farted in front of her, or the first time she farted in front of you? No. <laughs> it's getting I feel a little like bit that too would personal. be like a um, pivotal moment in my relationship. <clears throat> anyway, back to us, yeah, Liam. Wow. That was insane. That was nuts. Um, now we can do all the nice ones. Yes, let's do the nice ones. Also, I have one more gripe. We don't play zombies as much as I would like to. I agree, and I think that's you know that's half you, half me. We should do that more. I would love to. Okay. I just got a new I, that massive TV I got. Oh yeah, I got all the maps. Ooh, ooh. I, I brought uh, my. Uh, Brought Black Ops 1 from home. Fuck yes. Fuck. All right. I'll start. Emily, because you've you've had to stew with all that negativity. Yeah, I've had to stew um, with it. You're very funny. Really? Yeah, you're very funny. Oh, thanks. That's all. Oh, you, I thought we were doing two. No, I have two, but now Liam okay, does one. Okay, okay. Yeah, we go in a circle. I just wrote down New Jersey Jew. Oh. <laughs> that's an insult no i like that you do yeah that was this is my positive really yeah why is that a positive to you i like new jersey jews <laughs> i like jewish folk from jersey okay maybe, <laughs> maybe i'll teach you how to light the shabbat candles. i would love that. <laughs> it's like it's like when dennis says to mac he's like you have very small hair <laughs> <laughs> it's like... I, I yeah i wrote i was in a, i did this in a haste okay. um ready for mine okay no, no. oh Okay. Um. Anyway, um, my something I like about Will is Catherine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I that, that was awesome. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I, I you take were like that. I take back number one. I was just kidding. I have I have two more because I th- put that one out there as a joke. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> that landed. Okay. Everyone at home right now is going. I should have done my fake laugh. <laughs> yeah, you should have. I like that you're really patient and nice to your, I don't want to call them fans, that's so fucking weird, but your followers. You just ruined my day. Why? That, I don't it, know. Yeah. I just did. <laughs> I, I, this is why I'm not nice to you guys. Okay, Jeez. next. All right, you say something nice, right? Or what's it going? What's I'll, it going? I'll get it. I'll oh, get I didn't it. say my nice thing about Liam. Oh, yeah, please. Um, I'm really sorry. I, I thought I had two, but I only have one. But it's a really good one. You, Liam has a great laugh, and when he laughs, it means something's like actually funny because he has a good sense of humor. Oh, uh, thanks. I, w- I would agree with that. It was nice. So that was kind of three in one because you have yeah. a great laugh, and when you laugh, it means something's funny, and you have a great sense of humor. I would agree with I that. I appreciate that. When, um, when I make a joke and we're in a room of like eight people and only you laugh, I, it's a W. Yeah, that's a, it's a I W. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's, I feel the same way about you. Mm, it's very nice. If I, get a, if I get a hearty, I know if I say something like really evil. And everyone else is like, dude, what? Stop. And then in the corner, I can just hear Will silently giggling. And I know. And that's why I know we're best friends. <laughs> it's when you say something so heinous. <laughs> it's so bad. It, it like just... what you were saying this morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, we can't say that on the All right. internet. <clears throat> One more for Emily. 
you're very sweet and um it's very it's very interesting how you balance being so nice but also giving like cruel honest feedback that we need to hear too many people dance around like well you know it's good but like i just you just tell it how it is and you're also nice it's weird how you do it really yeah you're very honest it's, i it's like nice. I, I like that, that you're a battle axe <laughs> This is making me feel really great. I love this therapy session. No, yeah, you are you are very honest, and you don't. There's no bullshit around you, which is nice. Because if I sometimes when I'm talking to people, and you mm. know, just I want to I want to uh, rip what they mean out of their throat. That's like kind of why I like don't have a boyfriend though, because I'll be ta- like I'll be talking to a guy, and I'll be right, like, relax. this really bothers me about yeah. you, and then they'll get upset. Okay. Yeah, see, that's, that's see, why. yeah, that's okay. <laughs> but I guess it benefits me in some aspects of life. Right. <laughs> um. Wait, am I up? Uh. Yeah. That was uh. I had one for both of you actually is uh you're both great drunks. Uh a lot of fun to be around when uh you I haven't seen as much. I've only seen you fucked up a couple times. You I love. When you when Very he fun. gets really drunk. I haven't been with Will drunk until this past weekend. It's it so great. awesome. He doesn't he he he'll lose composure a little bit, but he's still there. But all he loses is like normally you don't give a fuck about anyone else, but then you really don't. Yeah. And like you act on it and you just say people try to like talk to him and it's so fucking funny when he's hammered. Oh, that's what that's why I put that as my thing nice to fans. There was this guy this past weekend that would not leave him alone and I would have if that were me I would have been like get the fuck away from me. But Will was just like hugging him and being like just being so patient with him and I was like <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. I'm getting exactly what I want out of this career. <laughs> I get to touch on them and everything. They don't do anything. <laughs> it's always white dudes. Oh, man. Silky. Silky. Smooth white guys. S- smooth, drunk, entitled white guys. Yes. It's my target demographic. Um, Who's next? Me. I think you're... Are you wrapped? Do you have anything I else? have one last thing for Will. Um, this isn't necessarily a characteristic, but it's just something I appreciated. Um, was when I had a meltdown and he comforted me and didn't judge me and actually made me feel better. And then like next day acted like everything was normal and just like didn't even like just completely forgot about it, which I respected because I was like, yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> when was your meltdown? Um, during no, I our... told you about it. Remember, we were la- dude, we were la- uh, you were laughing your ass off about it. <gasps> Why are Wait. you talking about me behind my back? I'm Wait. joking, Emily. Of course, <laughs> I didn't tell him about it. No, you could tell them. I don't care. We're taking another quick break to talk more about true classic tees. I've never had a t-shirt in my entire life that fits my body more. It just fits it so well. And I got a weird body type. True classic tees are for all types of bodies. You got a dad bod, doesn't matter. You got a Santa bod, doesn't matter. You jacked, whatever, man. Good for you. But you're going to look great still in true classic tee. Any type of body, it's going to fit you. It's going to feel great. It fits in the right areas of your body. Never too loose, never too weird. Doesn't doesn't look boxy or anything like that. It looks like it fucking fits. Anyways. Yeah, dude. I mean, I have like a Gumby body. And genuinely, I've had my entire life problems finding shirts. They fit perfectly and they make me feel confident. I feel like I actually, I don't need to wear a big baggy sweatshirt to hide my disgusting gremlin body. Best part is they've helped over 2 million men and they can help you. 2 mil. You get 25% off. You go to trueclassic.com slash Friday. You heard that right. Um, guys, not only that, there's a site-wide sale going on. So who knows how much money you're going to save. You might be you might be coming out of there making money. And you know what's even crazier? Gone. For all the big fellows out there, they have long options for the tall guys. Up to triple XLs. Maybe, yeah, triple. That's crazy. That's nuts. It's the perfect gift for all the men in your life, man. Um, so get yourself or someone you love the number one gift on Santa's list, True Classic T. Get 25% off at trueclassic.com slash Friday. Free shipping included on purchases over $100. That's 25% off at trueclassic.com slash Friday. Hey, and again, Santa's not going to be the only one slaying this year. Sla- yeah. Slaying, slaying thanks. Amen. To you know, there, Classic. There's actually no better gift anymore than clothes. Like as a kid, you wanted toys and stuff. When I get shirts now, I, I want to shed a tear. Yeah. If That's I get, all I want. Oh, my God. If I, got, if I get some True Classic tees this Christmas for my parents, I will, I'll, I'll start calling them more. Yeah. Yeah, my mic just broke during that. All right, let's get back into the episode. Well, that is wonderful. And I think 
that uh, although it was a little long-winded that entire segment i think now everyone has a better understanding what this little dynamic is now yeah i think uh i think it's important i i don't i think it's the same but gross be quiet okay yeah let's and now let's shut that mic off for a little bit just for a little while um all right you want to get into some characters i would love to i have uh i have two go ahead start off this is uh baxter bloat okay back double double down on baxter did I do a Baxter last week? Baxter Blumenthal. I thought I did Buck Blumenthal. No, nah, Baxter. All right, this is Buck Bloat. Okay. Um, I keep you're you're giving samples out at a grocery store, and I keep coming back in different outfits in the same day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to get the same example. All right, this is this is my plate. Wow, those look, and you you know it. You, okay. you start this to is like the third time. Me. No, it's like seven. Okay, okay. I'm like clearly just grabbing like clothes from the store. And they still have the tag on them. Okay. Hey, what is that? It looks pretty good. Is that cottage cheese? Yeah, you know what it is. You know man. why they call it cottage cheese, right? No. Because uh, they they would. Uh, it's actually really interesting. They would make it in a cottage. Uh, and it was uh, what uh, they would use what was left over after making butter. Were you just in here in a different outfit? You drive an Acura CL. You take four lefts and three right turns to get home. I wouldn't do this to me. <laughs> I would give me the plate of cheese. How do you know how I get home and what car I drive? I would give me the cheese. Okay, just take the cheese, man. Do you want? Well, can I? Have and that and that was Baxter bloat. Wow. You didn't laugh once. She's on you a should fucking move, phone. You should dude. move your office back out. That there. was really good. Rusty is harassing me over text. You Tell like? You, shut up. You like Baxter bloat? I love that. All right. That took a twist I did not anticipate <laughs> at all. I really didn't know where that was going. That was really good. 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 Um, I'm the chill priest, and you're we're in confessional and okay. confess to whatever you want. Okay. It doesn't like um, whatever you want. What's, does he have a name, Father? Um, Father Tim. Father Tim, I have something horrible to get off my chest. What's on your mind, son? I I hit a man with my car, and I drove away. Oh, you're chilling, bro. I don't even sweat it. <laughs> That's, dude, you're fucking chilling. Do I have to, do I need to do a penance? Like, do I need to say a prayer? If you want, you can, like it's you don't have. I don't give. I don't give a fuck. I don't think God's gonna give a fuck either. Really? Do you have any Nick? Do you have any like? Do you have any Zen? I no. I don't have. That's the worst thing you've done. That's dude. I I straight up rape people. Okay. <laughs> and that's Father Tim. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's yeah. he's not the the twist there. I didn't anticipate is that he's not that chill. He's not very chill. He's a he's a unconvicted rapist. Correct. Um, Pete a Pete a foil. Yep, he he is. A I do love the way they say pedophile in in Britain. And that has he's not. A, yeah. He's a pedophile. I should say that has nothing to do with the the. I do know a father Tim, and that that doesn't reflect him at all. It's a separate character from him. Agent Sammy Surveillance. <sighs> he's a spy. He has face blindness. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so I'm coming back. You're about to give me... You're giving me a, an assignment to assassinate someone. All right, ready? Go. Sammy. <clears throat> I have your next target right here. Let me see him. <gasps> oh, I killed that guy like a week ago. You killed this guy like a week ago? He's. This was taken this morning. He's alive now. No, I killed that guy. I killed his entire family yeah. like a week ago. Killed every, yeah, I killed him. Already? Yeah. How? No. What? What's his name? Alfonso Protas. Ooh. Oh. Let me see it again. I'm pretty sure I killed that you guy. You know, you can't. This is impossible. How the fuck? How many people did you kill last week? I. You know what's weird? Now that you're showing me, I think I've killed that guy 10 times in the last year. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's it. I like, I like him. It's so bad. No, I like him. I like how I was just like a spy is murdering people. I don't know. Well, it's like a James Bond. Like, you got to take out this target. Yeah. Uh, also, Brandon, one of our producers, just walked by. And if I, if he ever. He exp- is not a producer. 
whatever, whatever the fuck he does. If he ever sh- comes to work with, look at the thighs on this fucking kid. <laughs> I shouldn't have to see that in a workplace. Oh wow, those are tree trunks. God, Jesus Christ, get those out of my eye sign. I bet he can squat like a good three fifty. I bet you probably can. All right. Um, I feel like you. I feel like you could probably. I feel like you could throw it down on a squat rack. I used back to be in able high to. school football. I used to. I used to uh, squat. My max, I think I maxed out at 315 was my... Jesus. That was that's when I was, insane. But that's all I was good at doing was squatting. Like I couldn't clean, I couldn't bench, I couldn't do anything else. But I, it, I, had, I had decent legs. Doesn't matter. I used, to get, I used to have stretch marks on my hips and ass from squatting too much. Oh, wow. Um, anyways, I'm Wyatt Astro, okay. and I'm, the guy, I'm just a guy that offers a horrible... He, he's not any help in an emergency, I should say. I'm Wyatt Astro. <laughs> okay. I'm the worst guy to have during an emergency. And um, you're on a plane, and the guy next to you is having a heart attack. <laughs> okay. So just react. The guy next to you just started having a heart attack. Oh, my God. Um, um, uh, do we have a doctor on the plane? Does it... Yo. Oh, um, hey. I'm not a doctor, but I have this Ziploc bag filled with Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> okay. I know it's like technically I'm not a doctor, but I... I have this bag of slime. Maybe you just like rub it through his scalp. <laughs> I think I think we need a doctor. Get out of the way. What am I going to do with all this Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon slime? I don't know. Move. The doctor's behind you. Who do I? So I rub. You want me to rub it on him, and then he'll rub it on. I'm. I'm just. I want to help. Like I don't want this guy dying. Just sit back down. You can help by sitting back down. Um, I have like a. I have a. a the, the tops of some acorns in my pocket, if you'd like that. I should have I should have a granola bar somewhere around here. Let me look for it. So many fucking zippers on this backpack. <laughs> I have a really crushed up uh, Nutrigrain Valley bar. It's basically powder at this point. I've had it in my backpack for like seven months. What if we just like sprinkled that around him? I don't know. Would that what would that do? You think? I don't know. <laughs> And that's 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 why it Astro. <laughs> He's the worst guy to have in an emergency. That's a real. That's re- <laughs> that's really good. If 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 you didn't say Nickelodeon before the word slime, it wouldn't have been as funny. <laughs> Does she think I don't know these things? Like, what do you think that my job is here? No, I, that's why I'm like, like you guys are really creative and talented. All right, whatever. Well, I need things to throw at you. Yeah, dude. That actually, I was gonna say, I want to bring in like a Nerf gun, and en- like anytime we can just shut that mic off. Oh, I have one more. Are you? Mm-hmm. Do you have any more? No. I have one more, and it's really quick. We don't have to uh, act it out or nothing. Let's hear it. Uh, it's really hack, and if it's been done before, I don't care. Like, suck my dick. Um, okay. I'm a, I'm a news reporter reporting there was a mass shooting at a clown college <laughs> we have breaking news of reports of a mass shooting uh happening right now at carlson clown college downtown uh we don't have a total report on the victims yet we do know that police presence is there and and a suspect has been apprehended we're going to cut to some helicopter footage of the scene and just be wary it, it's it's a little bit graphic as you can see, the, sh- the shooter is entering the school. Uh, he's carrying what looks to be like an AR-15. And you can see him opening up fire on the crowd. Uh, this is, you just hate to see this. This is, when's it gonna end? You know what, I, you know what, I'm sorry. They're, they don't want me to say this, but when's it gonna end? How many more of these have to happen before it ends? And the police are, you can see him being arrested right there. Oh, and there's the Obama, my bad. Dude. How was is, how is that one? Dude. Did you guys like that? You're, you're. What did you search or to find that That's what I was out. looking up earlier. I, looked I up. can't tell if that's really, really, like a really, really, really funny character or if you have just given up. I can't tell. Um, I just looked up clown noises. Um, I, I've given up. I, yeah, I should apologize to the viewer. I started thinking about these like an hour ago. Usually I'll no, sit, I'll was, sit up was, and figure really it good. out. Um, yeah, it feels like it has to, someone's, that's probably like a family guy cutscene already or something. That's usually how it goes. Oh yeah. But I mean, family guys done like, I don't know. I know. That's like, remember we made that, we made one video where it was like 
hungover crossing guard. And one of the comments was like, yo, family guy did this. And it was an episode from like 2008. It was like a three second thing in an episode. It's like, hey, how the fuck am I going to know that? Yeah, it's insane. Um, anyways. Do you want to hear my character? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I really hope this one lives up to the rest, but I don't think it will. Um, okay. So his name is Willie White Noise. Um, you guys can set any sort of scene that you want. Like, just... Okay. Like you, how about you, just suggest a scene and then let's start it. Um, we're at a Target and we're shopping. <laughs> okay, go. What do you need? I need a bath mat or something. Not yeah. Wow. Yeah, I clearly didn't have enough time to think about this one. It's your first miss. I'm so sorry. But uh, someone DM'd the uh, Almost Friday podcast, and I thought they had a funny one. His name's Curtis Cartwright, and he's an ex-pro go-kart racer. He works a little too hard at Magic Mountain's go-kart track. Uh, Okay, I like that one. I actually do like that. That's like an interesting character that that could be in a movie. Shout out Jared. Shout out Jared. Shout out, hey. Wait, it was, the, it was the first character suggestion. Yeah, do we get DMs? We should do that. I, I should. I'll post on the um, page for next week. Emily has fucking insane control issues, and we're not allowed access to the account. So yeah, if you're just, DMing us, DM her personals. Um, Actually, d- yeah, DM the Almost Friday yeah. Pod. We'll rip it from Emily's clutches. Yeah, DM the if if you DM the podcast, I swear to God, I'll say whatever you DM us live on this podcast. I'll read it out. I will I will say 99.9% of the words that are DM'd to that account. Yes, and that goes for me as well. I'll say them all. <laughs> um, um, what now? What the fuck now? Um, oh, dude, I, I did, before we check in with Rusty, I did want to tell you about this dream I had last night, which is always interesting to hear. Well, I love... Yeah, okay. Uh, I... This is the first time I've ever had a dream where I shit my pants in the dream. It was so real. Mm. I was getting into an Uber. like I was at like a house party. It was just me and it was all women. Like miscellaneous females from my life. Friends mostly. But just from different time periods in my life. Very odd collection of the women I've encountered in my life that are my friends. And then right as we're about to get into the Uber, I uh, pooped my pants in the dream. Mm-hmm. So real. And then just like was thinking, how do I... My first instinct was to run, but then I was like, if I run, then it would have poop starts falling out the bottom of my shorts and all the girls see me and they're like, is that shit running down the back of his thighs? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can't get in the car because I'm going to reek like shit. And it's, you know, I don't want to ruin this Uber. And then I sort of just woke up and I was, to my surprise, no shit in my bed. But how badly would have I felt? I would have felt like an asshole if I fucking... I, uh... I will always love hearing about things that didn't actually happen to you. Thank you. Let's check in with Rusty. Guys, taking another quick break to talk to you about BetMGM. Everyone knows that we partnered up with BetMGM this season, and we're taking all their lines, taking all their bets. How's it been going? It's been going pretty well? Uh, my pockets are overflowing with cash. Me too. I mean, it's, it's great. The insight they have is amazing. If you haven't signed up yet for BetMGM, use bonus code BEERS1000. That's BEERS1000, okay? BEERS1000, and you'll get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first wager with BetMGM. Here's how it works. Ready? Download the BetMGM app and sign up using bonus code BEERS1000. Secondly, place your first bet on any game. And third, if your bet loses, you get up to a $1,000 thousand dollars in free bets that's, that's nuts that's not i can't wrap my head around that and please guys remember do this only in states where gambling sports betting is legal uh and just you got to be 21 years of age or older you know that do it in a state that's legal have some fun throw some money on it hey you gotta you gotta you got a risk-free bet kind of so mm-hmm. take that to the bank and you're gonna find that at betmgm.com you'll find the terms and conditions there so go there, guys. Check it out. Again, do your research. Make sure it's legal. It's a ton of fun. You'll make a ton of money with their expert analysis. And remember, you'll get up to a $1,000 risk-free bet on your first wager. Absurd. Absurd. That's such a good deal for us. All right. Let's hop back into the episode. Let's check in with Rusty. Emily. I'm snapping at her. Emily, we're checking in with Rusty. 
What's up, boys? Uh, I just finished my last final, which I'm super stoked about, and I cleaned my entire house. I put the tree up, got the stockings for all the fellas. We got some nice goodies under the tree from Arctic, which is pretty chill. Um, but the place is looking spick and span. I'm pretty fired up on it. Um, I think I did well on the final, but I'm not totally sure. Um, heading to Nashville on Friday, so that should be a blast. Um, you guys look like you're doing great. So we're, we're all just having a good week together. Um, I'm excited to see you guys. I'll see you soon. Love you guys. Bye. He, we keep saying this. We're going to see him soon. When? when? When's the next time we're going to see this man? I don't know. I mean, like. I think he, I might see him before you do if I go to Nashville this weekend. Could you give him a handwritten note for me? Yeah. Thank you. I've been trying to figure out how to get it to him. The amount of pigeons I've killed. Oh, my God. Fallen into the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, man. I mean, they're just washing up on the shore in, in droves. Mm. Uh, I feel like Rusty phoned that one in. Yeah, he did. And um, Give us some spice, Rusty. Wow, nice shout out to Arctic, dude. Yeah, that was clean. Uh, clean, under the radar. Dude, is, I feel like, oh, fuck, dude. He, I will say he looks better every time I see him. He does look like a handsome son of a bitch. He's also got the merch that we have that i haven't seen ever every time i see him he's wearing something that i that hat was cool i've never fucking seen that hat it's trickle down it goes to him first he collects whatever he wants like a dragon collecting gold and he mm. gets to keep it in a big room in his house Ooh, if, and we have to fight him for it if let's if rusty was a dragon what would his name be Ooh, Ooh. gorish gorish is good gorish the bolt i would say um, Gelfax, the Iron Gullet. Ah, I like that. I like that a lot. You like the Iron Gullet? Get off your phone. What are you looking Get at? Get off your phone. Are you texting over there? Are you? Te if you're texting, who who are you texting? No, I'm actually not. I'm on my camera roll looking at pictures of my dog. Oh, holy fuck. That's even worse. Do you give a fuck about this show at all? No, I do. I do. Do you care about either one of us whatsoever? Yeah, the problem is I talk too much, so if I don't distract myself, I will talk the entire time, and it's, like, not my podcast. Or we can just mute your mic, and we have a button where I can squeeze it, and that's the mic is hot while I'm holding it, and then when I want you to stop talking, I let go. You're never going to let go. Yeah, can we get a button where we can just shut her on and off? You actually keep really me shut like... off the whole time. Well, yeah, that's yeah, kind of the point of it. We want people button. to listen, you know. <laughs> Oh fuck! Um, yeah, he. he I, what do I say about that video from Rusty? <laughs> Literally, he's going to Nashville, and he finished finals. He cleaned his apartment. Good dude. Fucking give me more fodder. I what mean, am I gonna do with that? Yeah, that might be our fault for saying like twenty minutes ago. Hey, true. We did we just give me check in. <laughs> Very true. We we just yeah we we didn't give him any any heads yeah. up. One final word from our sponsors at Arctic Outdoors. I've been, you saw me. I've been sipping on this thing all, all episode. My water is cold as ice still. It's, it's almost too cold. It almost hurts my mouth. That's how cold this thing's keeping it. It's, you got two in your hands. You got two, you're double fisting. It's so good. It's the best. It literally is such a high quality product. I can't recommend it enough. How cool are the coolers? The colors they have are all so clean. Design's really clean. Everything looks great matches anything bring it anywhere any social setting this thing is going to look cool in, and be cool in. look at that so go to arcticoutdoors.com that's r-t-i-c outdoors.com get a cooler get a soft pack cooler and get as many cups as you can and now let's get back into the episode have you ever left the country yeah but i only went to like the fucking the white parts of other countries because like it's all resorts and it's like i didn't actually get to experience mm. any of the culture mm. which is a shame a damn shame what about you emily where have you been i've only been to another okay yeah i've been out of the country i've been out of this continent once and it was this past summer you have to guess where no i fucking don't yes you do it's the most <laughs> obvious up. place for, shut up tell me it's where the most you... obvious place for someone like me to go france italy jewtown usa <laughs> jewtown jewtown but what, where's jewtown i i'm nervous to answer that 
I, yeah, what I is don't the think center for Jews? Jerusalem. <laughs> Israel, yeah. Good job. How is that the most obvious answer for you that you went to? Because Jew I'm Jewish and you get a free trip to Israel if you're Jewish? I'm Christian. It doesn't mean I'm going to fucking... No, they do get they get, they yeah. get a free trip back to the homeland. No, I know. I just didn't know that, that, that your free trip was this year. Well, if, if I were to go anywhere, I don't know. Like, you're not Christian, know, by the way. The fuck up. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. You, she's not Jewish. You don't believe in God. I'm Jewish. Do you believe in God? I hate this conversation, but sure, yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah, I believe in God. I'm just, like, not religious. He, I bet he's thrilled to hear that. I, yeah. I Yes, I do. All right. Are you, what are you? Like, you don't believe in anything. It's not your beeswax, yeah. dude. I, uh, I want to talk, the, the World Cup, one of the worst, one of the most enjoyable days of my life, and then followed up by one of the worst days of my life. 6 a.m., we got up, and yeah, You I, called me at 6.45 in the morning. I did. And you know what time I got home? 2.30 a.m. Didn't go home, didn't sleep, didn't drink water, didn't eat. It sounds like I'm bragging. I'm, I, this is more of a warning. That's out of character for you, too. I know, because I, I don't, really don't like going out that much. No, you don't. I don't think either of us do, but I like drinking, so I do find myself in oh, those situations. Yeah, I do. Um, but it was, uh, it was uh, 20 hours of my life that I would trade back. I want to ask in you an this. Instant. Did you go to Rooster that night, Fish? We got in line, but it was way too long. That's so funny that Tyler went. Tyler Falbo, one of our good friends and employees here at Friday Beers, put you, me, Chet, and him in a group chat. And every, you guys were like adamant about saying, we're going to this bar, we're going to this bar. Yeah. And then I was probably not going to go either way, but I was just reading along. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up there for a little bit for a drink at least. And then uh, I didn't end up going. And then I just get a text later that night, like as I'm going to bed, just from Tyler, it says, so I guess nobody came here. And he Ubered there alone and probably went in by himself. Yeah. Which is hilarious that you guys No, I like it. It's a good ego check for him. He needs it every once in a while, man. Yeah. No, he's depressed. And he's He hates his, himself. So, you know. I think uh, for the next three months, I'm just going to, that one day, I'm just going to cleanse my body. What is that? There's a fight going on outside. Yeah. That's how loud it is. Emily, you need a weapon of some sort. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, well, what do we have to do? Her, her weapon is her wit. Ha ha. Nah, you, nah. you really don't have... Has you it, have a learning disability, right? You were talking about that earlier. You're disabled yeah, is what weapon. you were saying? That's my weapon. Wildly disabled. Yeah. That's crazy. How did you not guess that about me? That I had like raging 80s? No, I guessed it. I just didn't know that it was... I assumed it was worse than what you said. Yeah. I did the, take the, the RADS test and did pretty well. What'd you get? I don't remember the score, but it was like the description was that I showed autistic characteristics, but like not enough to be considered having autism. Right. Mm. That makes sense. shocking. Emily, what's the worst thing that happened to you when you were a kid? <laughs> oh, shit. Um, like what kind of... Overall. How old are we talking? Kid. I don't know. Can you start? I had an awesome childhood. My adolescence was fucking untainted yeah um i really don't know yeah hmm. what about just in life as, in general it's the worst thing you've ever been through emotionally physically that's like i don't get dark hear, yeah, yeah i don't want to hear like that not... <laughs> do i have a cliff note or um if if the story if you could do the story in eight seconds i'm down to hear i it. would but it's like dark yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> you guys are gonna want like, every time i say something sad you're like uh, let's move on give me a sentence of no. the saddest thing that ever okay. happened to you yeah. all right one sentence you don't have to i have two things but one this is so like this is like not worthy of this podcast i'm not saying it come you have to now you're teasing the audience okay when i was like younger i had like a um okay oh, here i go <laughs> stop stop, <laughs> okay. stop 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 no i had a like See that's see that's so that's, that's terrible, and that's something that we have to cut. Yeah, I'm hey, cutting that. Emily, no. Emily, thank you for sharing that, but that will <laughs> that will be cut. That's too fucked up. Oh man, did you get what you wanted? Yeah. Yeah, you happy yeah. now? Oh fuck! You got, you got anything to close with? Any messages for the? Well, folks? Can we please close on a happy note? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll close on a happy note. I'm um, sorry, you're just getting so fucking hot in here, dude. Yeah. Uh, on a happy note, L.A. is the worst city on the planet. I wish I'd never moved here. I hate everything about it. The West Side's fine. Um, every day I look outside and I wonder what I'm not seeing that other people are. And uh, 
you had something to say. I like LA. I I, uh, I enjoy living here. I wish there wasn't a, most of the shit here, mm-hmm. but it's like I love Venice. Venice is chill. Venice is great. And my response was incoherent, and it didn't make any fucking sense because my brain's melting. <sighs> Has anyone texted me through this podcast? Probably not. Yeah, actually, I do have texts. It's sick, dude. Wow, he's mm. so sick. Gnarly. Gnarly. All right. Um, okay, well, guys, thanks for joining. Um, unbelievable we made it this week. Crazy. Who knows if we'll make it another week. That's what's fun about the episodes is that every week you go, it's, you know, what time do we release? I don't know. Uh, for like 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., you wake up, you set your alarm for 4.59 a.m., and you check to see uh, if there's a new episode out. Basically, you're checking to see if Liam and I are still alive. Mm. So it's like a, it's every episode's a cliffhanger with us. Actually, though, if you, you're, I was thinking about this the other day. You're the only person in my life where if you died, I'd legit just think about killing myself for real. Like, if, <laughs> if you died in, like, a car accident, I'd truly consider just hanging it up forever. <laughs> That's I'd, so nice. I'd, so I'd, nice. I'd, I would want you to as well. I wouldn't want you to go on and experience life there's no one else in my life if they if they weren't around anymore i would i would kill myself except for you i would need you to genuinely i i don't know how many days i would last after you were gone like if i had to come to this office every day and you weren't here (laughs) oh god i want to think about that because i don't know if you died i'd be like i probably have to quit i'd it wouldn't i wouldn't be able to figure out how to work around that i know yeah i'd i'd completely have to leave whatever it is we do Maybe we could do if we could get like a maybe like a sack of potatoes and get some straw, kind of crunch it up to look like your hair. I'd I'd tell Edge I'd be like, yo, you have to get me a fully synthetic AI version of Angus, otherwise, oh, there he is. He walks by. Uh, How ironic! It's like Beetlejuice, dude. How ironic! Uh, what does irony mean? Like, uh, do you know what the definition of irony is? I don't know the exact definition, but I can explain it. How is that ironic? Because we're, we were talking about him. It's not a... You have a learning disability, right? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, and s- Emily, you are wonderful. Yeah, the, actually, though, please, please. I guess the please. word would have been like coincidence. What a coincidence. Okay. Yeah. Like, like. Sorry. You can't die. I was I really baked thinking about it like last night. I think, dude, I drank so much milk. I think if I get in a car accident, my boat, like the, it'll bend the steel of the other car. I think it'll come out fine. Pretty good. I've never broken a bone. Nothing's, nothing's getting through my skull. I damaging my brain. I don't do a lot of vitamin D or C or vitamins in general. So I think if, let's say, an MLB closer pitcher threw a ball hard enough, it would go through my chest. Like any point, wherever it hit my body, it would go right through. Like, I think it would go through like paper. Yeah, it would just be. It wouldn't even make a noise. It'd be like a diver splash. There would be no splash, dude. <laughs> on that okay. Note. Yeah. On that note. Thanks. Thanks so much for listening and hanging out with the with us guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Emily won't be chiming in as much next episode. Yeah, I, I literally we promise Emily will talk less and less as this podcast goes. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's the end. All right, that's it.